Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Competitive Botany. In this video, we are going to see the second part of allylic gene interactions. Okay, so in this video, this is the actually second video of allylic gene interactions. If you not had seen the first video, please please go through that video, then it is easy to understand. Okay, so it covers the codominance, over dominance, and lethal genes. Okay, so let's see the first one codominance. Codominance also exception to Mendelian inheritance. In this type of interaction, two alleles are equally dominant in heterozygous condition. So, the phenotypes of both the parents appear in the F1 hybrid. Hence, the joint expression of both the alleles in heterozygous condition is called as codominance. Remember, in the previous video, we are already discussed about incomplete dominance. There, the dominant allele could not completely dominate the recessive allele. Here, the condition is different. Here, both the alleles equally dominant. They are both the alleles equally dominant and they are showing joint expression of two alleles in heterozygous condition. You have to remember. So, AB blood group in humans is classical example for codominance. So, when Landsteiner and Levine tested the red blood cells of various people, they found three general types of blood groups such as A blood group, B blood group and AB blood groups respectively. Okay, Landsteiner when he studied on red blood cells of human, he identified three blood groups basically. They are A group, B group and AB. Okay. So, but only two alleles exist to determine blood group in humans such as A and B. So, for the determination of blood group in humans, there are only two alleles. So, they are A and B. So, Let's see the father with the one second father with the A blood group genotype nothing but capital A capital A and mother with B blood group genotype nothing but capital B capital B will have the children with A B blood group. Okay, remember. Okay, look at the diagram. So, here father nothing but male having A blood group type. He possess two homozygous alleles. Two homozygous alleles nothing but capital A capital A capital A. Hence, he expresses A blood group. Okay. So, let's see the second one. Let's see the second one. Here uh, it is also having two identical alleles nothing but homozygous alleles. Capital B and capital B. Mother. Okay. She is having B blood group type. When they produce children, the children nothing but F1 having, uh, he receives both the alleles from parents. Capital A allele from father and capital B allele from mother. So, he expressing AB blood group. Nothing but third type of blood group. It occurs due to the joint expression of two alleles, nothing but capital A and capital B. They expressed jointly in F1 when they are in heterozygous condition. Okay. So both the alleles are capable of show their independent expression in F1 heterozygote. When F1 hybrid, nothing but heterozygous hybrid, married to another heterozygote would result in 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. Let's see. Okay. So, F1 is heterozygous. Hence, he is exhibiting the uh, incomplete, sorry, codominance. That's why he is exhibiting the AB blood group type. Okay. So, when he married to another heterozygous woman, when he is he married with another heterozygous woman, okay, so the F2 ratio results in 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. Let's see the Punnett board. Here, 
So male produce IAIB, female also produce IAIB gametes. Okay, when they fuse, okay, for the for your convenience, I have drawn this punnet board. Okay, so uh, one A blood group, two AB blood groups, again one B blood group will resulted okay let's see the phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay that means 1 a blood group 2 a b blood group again 1 b blood group the genotypic ratio also same 1 is to 2 is to 1 nothing but capital a capital a 1 uh, progeny obtained with the capital a capital a genotype 2 progeny obtained with the capital a capital b a genotype again one progeny obtained with capital B capital B genotype okay so the phenotypic and genotypic ratios are same for codominance for codominance okay so a phenotypic ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 has thus replaced the 3 is to 1 ratio because two alleles expressed in heterozygote that means the alleles are codominant the alleles are codominant okay so actually according to mendel monohybrid f2 phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 here it is replaced by 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay so that means both alleles are codominant they are expressed um, jointly in the F1 hybrid when in heterozygous condition. Remember. Okay. Let's see. So, I am showing this diagram for, for you to understand more clearly. You don't need to draw this figure in the examination. Just listen for better understanding. That's it. Okay. Look at the picture. So, father with the capital A, capital A chromosomes, Not, nothing but these are the homologous chromosomes. Both are having the capital A, capital A, nothing but these are uh, homozygous condition. When two homologous chromosomes carry same alleles, that, that condition is nothing but homozygous condition. Okay, here the female parent, she carries both the alleles same nothing but homozygous condition okay when both are married okay so he will give a gamete she will give b gamete when sperm and uh, egg fuses together they will produce a baby or embryo with two different alleles this condition is nothing but heterozygous condition or F1 hybrid okay so the one the two alleles due to they are co-dominant as they are co-dominant both are jointly expressed that's why the child getting AB blood group the child getting the AB blood group when the child or when he married to another heterozygous another heterozygous woman okay so uh, let's see uh, let let's represent it uh, in a punnet board okay so as he is the heterozygous he will produce two gametes she is also heterozygous she also produces two gametes that means there is a possibility to produce two different gametes i'm telling okay so when it is represented in a punnet board there is a chance to get uh, four, uh, four progeny in their next generation. In the next generation. Okay. So, there is a possibility fusing, fusion of uh, uh, capital A, capital A. Then A blood group will come in the next progeny. If they fuse capital A, capital B fuses, there is a chance to get AB blood group child in the next progeny. If capital B fuses with the capital A, there is a chance to get AB blood group in their progeny or both alleles are capital B capital B then they will produce B blood group progeny okay so here here we are getting the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio okay so the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and phenotypic ratio also 
टू ईस टू वन ईस टू टू ईस टू वन ओके सो कमिंग टू द थर्ड एलिक जीन इंटराक्शन नथिंग बट ओवर डोमिनेंस ओवर डोमिनेंस द हेटिरोजाइगोट प्रोड्यूस बै टू होमोजाइगोट पेरेन्ट्स shows a phenotype that is more vigorous than that of two parents okay uh, the f1 hybrid more vigorous than that of two parents actually it is also called as heterosis so for example uh, mendel also observed this results in his cross when he when he observed mono hybrid cross so he get capital t small t f1 hybrid he got tall plants in the f1 progeny which is taller than the taller taller parent okay so nothing but heterosis so this is also called as over dominance okay so <coughs> sickle cell anemia is the best example for over dominance okay so heterosis it is a recessive autosomal disease actually sickle cell anemia is a recessive autosomal disease actually heterozygotes have superior resistance to malaria so have a look look at the cross okay so he is having capital a small a she is having capital a small a nothing but both parents are heterozygous of course they are cas they carry cap small a small a they are the carriers for sickle cell anemia both are the carriers for sickle cell anemia disease these two when these two are used as parents okay they will produce two types of gametes as they are heterozygous let's see capital a small a capital a small a so here uh, for easy understanding uh, i have drawn like this okay so when capital a fused with capital a uh, capital a capital a homozygous uh, progeny obtained capital a small a capital a small a and small a small a uh, here also the results are same 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio obtained but <laughs> here you have to observe one thing that is nothing but capital a capital a there is no recessive allele that means small a is the allele which carries sickle cell anemia disease okay so there the rbc converted into sickle shaped that's why uh, they are um, they are uh, sickle cell anemia patients okay so next uh, coming to capital a capital a progeny there is no recessive allele that's why no sickle cell anemia disease of course they are not resistant to malaria disease also okay so uh, two get we are getting two with the heterozygous condition uh, here also no sickle cell anemia why because one dominant allele is present which dominates the recessive allele recessive allele recessive, recessive allele only produces the sickle cell anemia when it is present in homozygous condition only how to remember here it is in heterozygous condition that's why no sickle cell anemia even though they are act, they act as carriers for the next generation let's see they are resistant to malaria why because they are in heterozygous condition as i told you uh, previous so the f1 hybrid vigorous than that of two parents okay so they are resistant to malaria and also they are showing high fitness okay so this is the best example for over dominance next coming to uh, the last progeny which is having small a small a that means two recessive alleles that's why he will get the sickle cell anemia disease he will get the sickle cell anemia disease sickle cell anemia is nothing but they the rbc converts into sickle shape that's why they are getting breathing problems okay so next coming to the last one uh, the fourth one nothing but a lethal factor so lethal alleles were discovered by leucine cunot leucine cunot lethal genes are mutant genes can cause the death of the individual which carries them 
So here you have to understand first what is lethal. Lethal nothing but it can cause the death of the individual. It can cause the death of the individual. So death of the individual occurs either in prenatal or postnatal period. Prior to sexual maturity or prior to sexual maturity. So prenatal death is nothing but before the birth they will die. That means during pregnancy only they will die. They do not exist. Okay. So postnatal nothing but after birth, after child birth they will die. So this is nothing but lethal factor. Okay. So recessive alleles are expressed only when they are in homozygous state. Only when they are in lethal, recessive lethals, they are expressed only they are in homozygous state. In heterozygous state, they remain uninfected. In heterozygous state, they will not die. Okay. So the completely lethal genes are usually cause the death of the zygote. If they are completely lethal, they can cause the death of the zygote. Okay. So later in the embryonic development or even after birth or hatching, they will die in the embryonic development or even after birth or in hatch or during hatching, they will die. Okay. So let's see the examples for lethal alleles. So let's see the lethal alleles in plants. So, in maize, nothing but GIA maize, the amount of chlorophyll is controlled by a recessive allele G, small g. It exhibits lethal effect in homozygous condition, where in heterozygous condition, they are normal like dominant homozygous parent. Okay. So, in heterozygous condition, they are normal. During homozygous condition only they are lethal. During homozygous condition they will not exist. They will definitely die. Okay. So let's see the cross. So look at the cross. So capital G small g. This is heterozygous will live. Capital G small g. This is also heterozygous condition. She also uh, It also live. Okay. So when they are mated each other that means when they are crossed to each other they will produce two different kinds of uh, gametes each okay so when they are fused uh, in these combinations let's see the progeny capital g capital g capital g small g capital g small g small g small g so here so Small g, small g, these are as they are recessive lethals. The recessive will not exist. The, the recessive will not exist. It will die. It may die before prenatal stage or postnatal stage. Remember. Okay. So that's why. So here it is not mentioned in the ratio. So two heterozygous, one homozygous. It is represented as 1 is to 2 ratio or 2 is to 1 ratio. Okay. So, let's see the next example. Lethal alleles in animals. So, here the gene for yellow coat color in mice is the best example for lethal alleles. So, when two yellow coated heterozygotes. Here we are talking about heterozygotes. Capital A, capital A, Y are crossed to produce a progeny showing a ratio 2 is to 1. Okay. Since homozygous yellow individuals are never born due to lethal effect of capital A Y. Okay. Cap capital A Y gene is a homo sorry recessive lethal gene. That's why when the homozygous yellow individuals produce they will not born due to lethal effect. Remember. Okay. Let's see the lethal genes in humans. Okay. Thalassemia or Coolis anemia is a lethal disease in human. Uh, which is somewhat similar to sickle cell anemia. So mostly occurs in children nearly 100% fetal lethal which is a recessive lethal disease. Okay. 
thalassemia or coolies anemia is a lethal disease in humans okay so in heter in homozygous condition produce major thalassemia that cause the death of the individual okay so in homozygous condition only they will cause the death of the individual whether uh, in, since they in heterozygous condition so they can live okay as a but they act as a carrier they will carry the gene to the next generation so next in ho, um, in the heterozygous condition of this lethal gene results a mild form of the disease called thalassemia okay so they even though they exist but they also having the thalassemia disease in heterozygous condition remember so let's see let's see the cross when thalassemia minor because in heterozygous condition so it is crossed with another thalassemia minor parent okay so the gametes will produce like this these are the gametes okay so capital c capital c look at the first progeny there is no thalassemia allele that's why they are normal child capital c small c capital c small c two individuals obtained two childs obtained with the carrier type or they are also having thalassemia minor disease childs with the thalassemia minor disease okay so if the child consists two alleles are recessive because it is recessive lethal if if the child carry two recessive alleles definitely die okay due to thalassemia major disease or coolies anemia disease okay here also the ratio is 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1 one individual will definitely die why because it is always recessive okay 